write the following function in standard form. This function is currently written in polynomial form and we want to transform it so that it looks like this form, which is the standard form or transformation or vertex form, depending on what book you're reading. So the first step. First step is if a is greater than 1, which it is in this case, if a is greater than 1, you're going to factor out a out of the first two terms. So we're going to be working with this term and this term, okay? This constant we're not going to use right now. Only concentrate on the first two terms and we're going to factor out the 2. So this is what that's going to look like. You take the 2 outside of the parentheses, plus 38 is also outside the parentheses because we're only working with these two terms. Now if I factor out a 2 from that first term, what's left? x squared minus minus, and if I factor out of 2 from 16, what's left? 8x, okay? And there you have it. That's the first step. We factored out a 2. Your second step is we're going to fill in this little spot here. I'm going to add a number to this and then I'm going to subtract a number. Okay? If I add a number to a function, I'm changing the function. And we're not supposed to do that. So if I add 5, I need to subtract an amount so that the function goes back to its original value. In this case, to find this number, we need to complete the square. And to do that, we're going to look at B. Complete the square. What that means is, we're going to find a number that will transform this quadratic inside the parentheses into a perfect square trinomial, which means a trinomial that I can factor. So this will make it factor. To find this number, we complete the square. And this is what you do. You take b, you divide it by 2, and then you square it. Which b do we, do we use? We're going to use this b right here, not the original one. This one right here. So b is 8. So let's go ahead and calculate 8 negative over 2 squared. That will be equal to negative 4 squared, which is 16 positive. So this number that we just found is the one we're going to add into this spot. And that just made this trinomial become a perfect square binomial, which we can factor. Now, I added 16. So you would think, well, subtract 16 so that you don't have any effect on this function's original value. But look very closely and very carefully. Did I really just add 16? I really added 32, not 16. Why? Because this 2 outside this parenthesis belongs to each one of these terms. So if I were to distribute 2 times x squared and 2 times 8x and 2 times 16, this would really be 32. So if I added 32, I have to subtract 32. Okay? Good. Now, for my third step, this is what you need to do. I'm going to take all this whole expression, I'm going to simplify these values. 38 minus 32, which is 6. So I'm going to rewrite this down here. So far, we have f of x is equal to 2 times x squared minus 8x plus 16. And then outside the parentheses, I'll have plus 6. And the last step is take this expression inside the parentheses and factor it. Okay, so how do we factor? I know the setup. I'll have two binomials, x and x. What will these terms be? Well, 
and then outside these binomials I, I have the plus 6. You can go to the side here and use this method where we use the x. Your c value here will be 16 and your b is negative 8. So you have to think about two numbers that you can multiply together to make 16 and add together to make negative 8. And what comes to mind for me is 4 times 4. So 4 times 4 will make 16, but 4 plus 4 will not add to negative 8 unless they're both negative. And there you have it. Negative 4 times negative 4, positive 16. Negative 4 plus negative 4, negative 8. So these are your magic numbers. This is going to be minus 4, minus 4. And now I can go further step 4 and since I'm multiplying x minus 4 times x minus 4 I can combine those two terms in exponent form let me erase that f of x is equal to 2 times x minus 4 squared plus 6 and there you have it we went from polynomial form to standard form in the next video we're going to do one more example where a is equal to 1.